statistically only 10% of people who have epicondylitis really need surgery. And so we want to be very careful to still maintain a conservative course of treatment. And that's why we're using things like these biologics that are showing research proven evidence that it can and it does help and it can alter the course of epicondylitis. So you have the option of doing nothing. I mean, patients who do nothing, they will get better with epicondylitis. It's just that we're trying to speed up that process. We're trying to change the natural history. So instead of them having epicondylitis for two years, uh, by treating them with things like uh, PRP, we're hoping we can maybe cut that in half or cut it in, th in a third. But to expect that they're suddenly going to get a cure within two weeks, that can happen, like a lot of things can happen, but it's not very common to get that.